Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a um, short video about the progress of my GoPro Hero 5 trim and um, how you assemble it with a case I designed. So these are the parts you need. Um, you need two screws. They only have to go through these holes so they are not specific, they have to be long enough to actually um, hold in this small uh, plastic part here. But um, these are two spare screws I had lying around, so it doesn't matter really. Uh, they just have to fit inside these holes from, from this little part and through the holes of the um, Hero 5 mainboard. So this is a freshly printed version 9 um, case of mine and I'm going to show you um, the exact steps I, I followed to assemble this. Um, the only soldering you need to do is actually um, solder onto this uh, connector because I couldn't get it to work from, from uh, soldering directly to the mainboard. Um, with my equipment and you have to solder you see two of these small wires here you have to solder a 4.7k resistor it is on the back side under, underneath this double-sided tape um, on these specific pins from from the from this side it's uh, pin 9 and 10 um, for the camera to actually work from 5 volt uh, from a 5 volt regulator um, I'll start with uh, bending this um, this this cable, <clears throat> and I um, marked uh, the parts where you uh, the points where you need to um, where you need to fold it so that it fits inside. There, the microphones are still there, so it fits nicely inside the uh, enclosure. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fold it like this, ninety degree, one hundred eighty degree, for the LED. Almost every fold is one hundred and eighty degree. Um, this last fold here, it's not exact. It, it is one hundred and eighty degree, but it is not a. Um, not you, you don't have to squish it so much because it goes around the main board. So now you have this blob of cable and you can actually plug it back in inside the main board. I'm trying to get it on the camera. No, it snapped in. And that's the way I, um, I was going with it. So the um, mode button is on the front. There you, therefore you have this small um, yeah, button on the, on the case where you can press it. It will stick a bit out. You may have seen it on the pictures already. Yeah. And the uh, power button on the back side, it is actually not um, pressable in the case. I don't have any purpose for it. Of course, you could add a hole to the uh, to the back plate and make it pressable, but I don't see why at the moment. Yeah, so you have everything in place. You can just put it in. Ah, of course, the heatsink is glued on with some. Uh, heat with some heat paste glue I don't know the English term and um, it doesn't matter which size you have it has to go through this hole it is I think 18 by 17 millimeters um, a smaller one will also do maybe you can find the exact same one but um, you can also edit the file or tell me to do it. 
so that uh, your heatsink will do will, will fit through here. So the main board will clip right into the case, and I will be gentle, take your time, start from the top. You heard it, you heard it clicking. So and that's it. It is a pretty tight fit fits nicely in here. Make sure that the button is right underneath this little uh, plastic tab. If not, you can actually um, move it from this side and make sure that it is ah, you can hear it, clickable. So you can push it from here if it's not low enough and I can show you the button is almost perfect inside and it's clickable. So that's it. I put a little double sided um, tape on this uh, HDMI connector because I don't want any shortage from this cable here. <coughs> put the lens in, click the ribbon cable in place put it inside. You don't have to align the holes yet. You just have to put this little plastic piece in here. It is a rather tight fit. But it holds the camera in place like this. It holds the camera in place and actually it won't move on its own anymore. But uh, of course you can loosen it. So, like this. You could screw the screws um, in a bit, um, but they will actually hold the back plate uh, down and, and put it in place. So I recommend it doing. I recommend doing it afterwards. Put this cable through here. Put the connector on the main board again. Oh man, that's not so easy through the camera. Okay. And then you can slide this back, back piece, the back plate on. And it has some clips on either side, there and there. But it also has two um, guiding pins here and I recommend starting from this side, clicking this part in place, looking that the these guiding pins are where they where they need to be, and then you go to the other side, pull the back the back plate a bit over over the edge, and it should just click in nice and tight. So this is a very tight fit. Uh, 